this is Lord GP, and today we're going to have a look at the Hierarchy Slicer that was introduced to Power BI in February 2020. So here we are in our sales report, and what we're looking at doing is replacing these two slicers here, the product range one and the product name one, with one slicer. So for this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete out those two slicers, and we're going to start with a fresh slicer. I could have converted one, but I thought we'd start with fresh for this example. So I insert a slicer and let's put it into that gap. There we go, where the other ones were. And from the products table, I'm going to bring in the product range and put that into a field. And you see normal slicer comes up and then I'm going to put the product name underneath it. Okay. So now we've ended up with a slicer that we can expand. We can see the different options. Now I could pick all flowers or I could remove that slicer and pick an individual one. Okay. Now we can have multiple layers. So let's quickly show that example. So I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller. And let's go and have a look at our date slicer. Okay. Now our date slicer is one of these uh, range ones. So I want to change that. So into my slicer here, it currently has got date. Now I don't want it to go down to date level. I want to start by going to year level. So I'm going to insert year at the top and it immediately becomes a hierarchy slicer. Okay, so I'm just going to expand that up a bit. So I've got year and then I could put month between those two. Okay. So now I can drill down into 2017, I can see my months, I can pick a month, and that picks all the days in that month. I can use my control key to pick multiple months. I can even pick non-adjacent months, etc., as you would expect. Okay. Now I also, let me just quickly unselect all of those. Okay. Now, I also can just quickly show you that we could go down to, so let's go back to that product one. We can do the changes we were talking about in previous videos, such as under selection controls, I can turn that into single select. And there you are, we'll find that we get either flowers or food and drink. And we can drill down and pick an individual one there. Okay, so you can pick across just in the same way and you can do multiple changes. Okay, so the selection controls work as you expect. So another great update um, of the hierarchy slicer in Power BI. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now. <laughs>